Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you. And also share it with your friends who may benefit the from the same. The algorithm is coded and the explanation for the same shall also be done. So to begin with, we have the, the PV characteristics of the solar array or the solar panel, whatever you want to call it. So here, say for instance, you have the panel working in position 1 at point 1 and the maximum power point exists at point MPP and there's another point at point 2 which we will come to it later. So first let's go to point 1. So as you can see, so say for instance it moves from point 1 to this point here, it basically goes down. So the power would be decreasing, the voltage would also be decreasing. So if this is the case, we would actually want to move towards the maximum power point. So for that to happen, we must increase the power and this can be done by increasing the voltage. Now the same thing if you want to increase the, now say for instance it goes from this point, point 1 and moves up along the curve, right? So power increases, voltage also increases, however it's not quite at the maximum power point. So you would want to again decrease the duty cycle but increase the voltage that is this is if you use a boost converter now coming to point 2 now as you can see if it goes from point 2 to if it goes below the power decreases but the voltage increases however if it goes from point 2 and above power decreases power increases but the voltage decreases so in this case the duty cycle must decrease so that the voltage can come towards the maximum power point. So this is how the perturb and absorb, absorb um, algorithm works. It's fairly simple and yeah, so let's look at the flow chart. So you start, you keep measuring the I and V voltages, you calculate the power P and you see if the power initial and the previous power is the, the difference between the two is equal to zero. If it is zero, you go back because you're already at maximum power point. But if it's not zero, you come down, you check if it's greater than zero or lesser than zero. If it's greater than zero, you come here and you check if the difference in voltage is lesser than or greater than zero. And then you decide whether you want to increase or decrease the voltage. However, if the power difference in power is not greater than zero, then you come here, check if the difference in voltage is greater than or lesser than zero. So this is fair. this is how the algorithm works. Now I'll move over and explain how the code works. Code now. So as you can see, you have the function d, which is per perturb and observe. You take two input parameters, voltage and current, and um, you create initialize the previous values for voltage and current and the duty cycle. So you take the duty cycle as zero point. This, these are initializations. You can give it whatever you would want to. Duty cycle obviously has to be from 1 to 0 and uh, the power V previous and P previous, it should ideally be within your limits of the PV array and ideally you should keep it at your maximum power point. Now, we'll have to also initialize what the value of delta D is. This is nothing but your del D which you would increase, incremental increase in voltage. That's the duty cycle for your boost converter. So this is what, this is the value you'll be giving. So you'll also have to ca calculate the power because based on whether or not the increase in power is positive or negative, we would be checking for voltage. So initially you would have to calculate the power. And so if PPV minus P previous, so PP previous for the first iteration would be 2000 and PPV would be what your uh, function block takes in. So you can refer to our previous video where we have actually done the simulation part of the uh, MPPT circuit and you can see it yeah so if PPV is greater than if the delta P is greater than 0 you have to check if delta V is also greater than 0 and then based on that you would decrease the um, duty cycle however if that's not the case you would increase the duty cycle and the same thing happens for the other side of the flowchart which we explained and as you can see here after um, this if statement you will have to update your previous codes so for the second iteration your p and v p previous and v previous and d previous values would be your first iterations ppv 
VPV and DPV. D, yeah, D. So that's it for this video. Do check out our other videos as well. And hopefully it was helpful. Do check out our video on the simulation of MPPT so that you can integrate that video as well as the code. And yeah, do let us know if you have any doubts. We would be more than willing to help you. Thank you.